Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. And uh, I would never get tired to thank those people who are really supporting me in growing this platform by sharing our content and financially. May God really bless you for your support. The, I want to say that uh, Kenya is heading to a direction that we wanted as the people who believes in electoral justice, the people believe in fair, credible, transparent election. Na haya ni maneno ambayo tumekuwa tukizungumzia kwa siku nyingi sana. And now there is a topic here that is too difficult for some of my fans to understand. And um, I did an analysis yesterday to explain a number of points which of course I want to also explain deeper so that you can understand. You know, as we speak now, the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto, whether you like it or not, is facing a tough challenge in the military. That's for a fact. Removing all factors, oh, Ruto atafanya hii, oh, Zui atafanya nini, tuwachana na hiyo, tuende kikatiba. As per the constitution, as per the rules of Daudi Tonje, the reality remains that Ruto has a challenge in the military. And what is the challenge here? As we speak, three people are supposed to retire from the service. What Watatu? And of the three, two of them are the people who are supposed to take over as the next CDF. Kuna watu wako elewa CDF, niona people are texting me kaka, it's not CDF, it's KDF. No. CDF means Commander of the Defense Forces. So, kiongozi wa military. Modosi wa military, mkubwa wa military, anaitua CDF. Sio Constituency Development Fund, no. CDF, Commander of the Defense Forces. Huja ma, yeye ndiyo wanashia Naruto ama the President. Anything that pertains the security of the country. Sasa, tuko na Kibochi. Kibochi is the current CDF. He is supposed to retire in four months time. Right? Kuna huyu deputy mumekua mkinyabia kaka, oh, kuna deputy, oh, kuna Ogola. Ogola is supposed to retire in less than seven months from the service. Because, he has one year to retire, right? When he has one year to, you know, a CDF is supposed to retire at 62. Right? That's a lieutenant general. And if I could retire at 62 years, what can I could retire at 62 years, Kibochi has only four months to leave the service. Ogola is only 61 years. So to say me, he has just a few months also to retire. Because by the time Kibochi is finishing four months, then Ogola will be remaining like, let's say, less than six months to go home. That means, alternatively, we can assume Although he is eligible as the deputy CDF, but we assume 
he is also said to retire. So it's like as much as is the one who is preferred, it's like he's not in the picture. A tough decision for William Ruto. Now, another man is Muhammad Badi. General Muhammad Badi. Muhammad Badi is 60 years old. You know, it's either kuna hapa kuna kuna vitu viwili nataka uelewe. You retire either after serving a term of 4 years or you retire after attaining 62 years. What does this mean? If you, if if Mungu akuonekanie and you are appointed as a CDF and then you serve for a term of four years, but still you are around 60 years. You retire because umemaliza your four terms. Right? Or, alternatively, you retire after attaining the age of 62. Now, in this line, Ruto has a tough option. For him, not even a tough option. Because even if Kiboji is going home, even if Wagola is going home, even if Badi is going home, the next person in line is Omenda. Omenda is yet to be promoted to a general, to a lieutenant general, right? So he has not yet reached the rank of succession. To be directly appointed. And when we analyze this thing from a political point of view, then you understand that Badi, Ogola, and Kibochi are branded as Uhuru Kenyatta's inner Alice. Yani marafiki wandani wa Uhuru. Right? And while in Bomas, you saw what Ogola did. In fact, Ogola alichokifanya kilimkasirisha ruto. In Bomas, you all saw what he did. That means, even if he is to, you know, I omitted Ogola yesterday because to my analysis, he wasn't a factor. Yes, he's the deputy, but get the point. To my analysis yesterday, he wasn't a factor. Why? He is said to retire. Even if he is a deputy CDF, he is also said to retire. And again, what he did at Bomas and Kadruto. And Ruto is a man of revenge. So when I was analyzing, I omitted Ogola because of those two factors. Right? <laughs> that is why I stress my I stressed much on body body qualifies yes but then what disqualifies him politically alikuwa ni mtu wa karibu wa uhuru kenyatta that is what looks like can disqualify him right sasa niliona watu wengi mlilalamika kwa posti zangu oh kaka hapana tuko na ogola i knew what i was doing what Ogola did in Bomas, and he said to retire in around seven months, he wasn't a, a factor in my analysis, right? My only factor was the succession between the Kibochi, who is now outgoing, and Badi, who is 60 years, or Omenda, who first must be promoted to a lieutenant general, before he takes power as a CDF. Oh. What do you say, Mahivi? What do you say, Rice, yes. Rice, yes. Rice has an authority. Yes, he has authority. But then, the only authority in this case that can rescue the president, it cannot even rescue him. Why? Kibochi is retiring, Right? And when all the factors remain constant, Ruto can alternatively decide to retire Ogola and Badi because they are ripe for retirement. 
Then after retiring this, it means three will be gone. Kibochi, Ogola, and Badi. Now Ruto will only be dealing with Amanda. And still Amanda, ni mutu ya uko. Eh? Are you getting this point? Ni mutu ya uko. So, hata kama atakuwa promote. Najua, let me tell you guys. As much as munasema kwamba, these guys are doing the professional work. Loyalism comes first. And there's no president who will risk. Let's go and walk them out. Kaka Ogola si alifanya. Yes, alifanya uhuru because he couldn't exit with uhuru before his term comes to an end. Tuko pamoja. Now, the only tough option left for William Ruto is when Kibochi is retiring, Ruto can also retire Ogola because he is ripe. He can also retire Badi. Waende wote nyumbani. Kibochi, Ogola and Badi. Watoke. Kwa nini? Hawa waliitwa kwamba ni watu wa uhuru Kenyata. Na kama ni watu wa uhuru, bas ni watu wa Raila Amolo Odinga. Sijui kama mnanielewa. Sasa akiritaya hawa watatu waende atabaki na Omenda Omenda now the Omenda factor will only work if William Ruto extends Kibochi's term because the military the, 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 the law allows him to do so sheria inamruhusu kufanya hivyo he extends the term of Kibochi for one year so that by the time Kibochi is finishing one year Ruto has retired Ogola and Badi so the two what wa uru watakuwa wametoka kwa hesabu so by the time Kibochi is retiring in the next one year Jamaa atakuwa amebaki sasa ni Omenda in the process of extending the term limit of Kibochi then Ruto will be forced to promote Omenda to a lieutenant general so that once Kibochi leaves power deputy wake hola pia atakuwa ametoka na baadhi pia atakuwa ametoka that tells you now the only person left if all this is set to happen if what i've explained can happen under the root of government because in mesikia wengi mukisema oh ataritaya ogola oh ataritaya but but still even if we retire as all these people bado anaanguka kwa mikono ya omenda unajua uhuru kenyata wasn't stupid wakati aliweka hiyo lineup na hakuna vile Ruto ataruka Kenya Air Force aende kwa point mtu kutoka Kenya Navy ama Kenya Army haiwezekani kulingana na sheria kikosi ambacho kinafaa kuchukua hatamu ya commander of defense forces is from the Kenya Air Force and these people Kibochi is from the Kenya Air Force Ogola is from the Kenya Air Force Badi also is from the Kenya Air Force and even Omenda so meaning Ruto has no any other alternative than doing what I've said a tough choice for the president Nimesikia wengine mkisema atatuma kina Ogola kuwe ambassador atatuma kina Badi wa kuwe ndio lakini hata kama atawatuma wakuwe ambassador wa retire then bado ataanguka kwa mikono ya Omenda Munaona mahali kizungu mkuti ipo But anyway uh, this is my opinion from a professional and a political point of view because in the military you don't skip ranks But then wanasema kwamba the president is the commander in chief. We will see. Sisi kazi yetu ni kumpatia 
macho tuone how he will be running the show he runs the show without compromising the law he runs the show without being a dictator he runs the show as per the laid down rules and the regulations in the military so what we can do as of now sisi hatuna uwezo sisi hatuna nguvu umesikia vile huyu mzee alikuwa anasemanga eh naitwa nani huyu Francis Zatuli sisi hatuna nguvu sisi hatuna uwezo kazi yetu ni kumpa macho tuone how he will be running the show ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and i hope this has become very clear and now you get the full point on what is happening god bless you see you in the next video asante san